Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you another Raspberry Pi video. Um, it is going to be using an operating system called Pipalware, which is based out of Portugal and is completely Portuguese. So you're going to have to translate it a little bit, but that's okay because I'm here to show you how to set it up. And it's based on Raspbian. I find it a lot more user friendly. And it really has the feel of an operating system. Not, It's not boxy or anything, it's really nice. So I'm going to show you how to download it. Unfortunately though, the website is in all Portuguese. So you're going to have to Google. Uh, I recommend using Google Chrome because it has a translate feature. So you're, want, you're going to want to Google Pipalware, P-I-P-P-L-W-A-R-E. And click the first one that comes up. Now Google Chrome will ask if you want to translate the page. Say yes. Now go over to installation right here. And read the installation. Yeah, okay, good. Yeah. Now download the operating system image here. So with that, do you want to translate the page? Yeah, you can, but it's pretty easy. Uh, download. It's 1.3 gigabytes so far. And once it downloads, you'll have to unzip it. So I'll be back with you once it downloads. Okay, so as you can see, it's right here. And what you have to do is install 7-zip, which most of you already have, I'm assuming. Or you can probably use WinRAR, but I have no idea. I don't use WinRAR. I find it too, too boxy and too uh, cumbersome. So you want to extract here. And I've already done it, so I'm not going to do it now, but it should take about three or four minutes. But if it takes longer, that's okay. Uh, and it'll create a disk image file. So once it's unpacked, you're going to want to use your SD formatter to format your SD card and get it ready for the installation of Pipalware. So I will do that right now. It doesn't take long. Okay, there we go. It's formatted. Done. Now you're going to want to go over to Win32 Disk Imager. And if you don't know how to use these, there's plenty of videos. I have a video that shows you how to flash Raspbian, uh, which includes the Win32 Disk Imager download, if you want to check that out. But most people know how to use Win32 Disk Imager. So you're going to want to find your... Uh, image file and mine is in downloads there it is pipaware version 5.1 so I'm gonna go ahead and flash that and click write yes now this will take some time um, and I will be back once it is finished Okay, so once that's done, it'll say write successful. And the main reason why you want to choose this operating system, in my opinion, is that uh, basically I'm doing it for the purpose of using Kodi and being able to install the Beast, which is a build for Kodi, uh, successfully. All the other operating systems, including the Raspbian one now, won't install it. All the wizards error out. But on this version, it doesn't. And this is because it has dependencies, more dependencies built in, just like the Kodi, just like Kodi on a Windows computer. And this is Kodi 16. It is the newest version so far. Uh, Kodi 17 is coming out in a few weeks, I think. And this operating system supports builds. So it's uh, it's it's awesome and if you don't want to use it for builds uh, if you don't want to use it for Kodi uh, it also has emulation station built in uh, not if you want to use emulation station you can I don't know very much about emulation station so I won't be going over that in this video uh, but that is something you might want to check out um, what else is there that's in this uh, 
In this video, I'm going to be going over how to change all the settings into English. Um, that includes the keyboard. And especially in Kodi 2, I'll go over that, how to change the language, because it's all in Portuguese. Uh, believe it or not, the Portuguese is pretty... It's, it's, it's easy enough to find your way around to find the settings to change it. Uh, mostly it's just Ras, Raspi config. Um, but I'll go through that. Um, let's head over to the Raspberry Pi. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is go ahead and plug in your SD card into the Raspberry Pi. And make sure you have your keyboard and mouse plugged in. And we will configure Pippleware. So first, get your keyboard because it's going to ask you what it wants to start up as. So it looks pretty familiar. This doesn't, but the beginning did to Raspbian. So you're going to want to configure what it starts up as. And it will ask you in a few seconds. Okay, so you got Emulation Station plus Kodi, Emulation Station, Kodi Media Center, XFCE Desktop. That is what we want, so press Enter. And to navigate that, you were using the arrow keys. So it starts off like Raspbian, then it says Pippleware. Okay. So we'll give it like 10 seconds or so just to warm up a little bit. And you can see that most of it is really in English. You got your wastebasket, home, uh, you got Cody right here, uh, you got your web browser right here. And you got your Wi-Fi right here, which we'll set up right now. I'm using a Wi-Fi adapter, so I will be setting up using Wi-Fi. So there's BRC, so I'll connect. Okay, it looks like I typed in my password wrong. Okay, there we go, it is configured. Now, if it says you've failed to configure the parameter, uh, that's okay. Go back and try it again and it should work. So now I'm configured in Wi-Fi. Mouse is being a little weird here. Okay, so now we need to configure the locales and, and everything to make it English. So you're going to want to go to system right here and raspi config. Now this is very similar to Raspbian. So you got your host name. Uh, you can change it if you want. Uh, I usually expand the file system. So we'll go ahead and do that. And we'll reboot it later. So I go to localization. Set locale, English, country, Great Britain, hmm, Where, well I'm in Canada, so I'm going to go to Canada. You can set it to whatever you want, leave that, and hit OK, and it will set the locale. Okay, now I'm going to set my time zone.
Okay, now we set the keyboard. See, I was already on Portugal. We do not want that. So I'm going to put it on US. United States. And Right there, English US. And you can test the keyboard if you want. Uh, let's go test slash slash. Okay, so the test works, it's good, and click OK. Uh, wi Fi country, not really sure what that's for, but I change it anyways to my country. Canada. Okay. Okay. And it wants you to reboot. Yes, reboot now. Now, don't worry about this message. That's for X screensaver. We don't really need that. It is fine. So now let's go and change the keyboard for the operators. Not, not Raspberry Pi. Now we'll just change the keyboard in their settings. So search key. And keyboard is the first one that pops up. So go edit keyboard. Okay. So got your application shortcuts you don't need we're not going to worry about that uh, layout though uncheck system defaults see how it says portuguese you have to edit that and find your keyboard selection English, English US. Okay. So now we can go to behavior and see if it works. Okay, everything checks out. And you're good to go. Now, depending on what type of keyboard you have, if you have a 105 key or a 104 key, you have to change that. It's fairly easy to change. Uh, but I have a 105 key, so I'm going to leave it at that, and close it. Okay, now I think that's everything for the s startup screen that is all in English now. Now let's change Cody to English. Okay, so you can see every single thing is in Portuguese. But it's pretty easy to figure out what it means. Images, obviously, music, programs, system. So let's go to system. And appearance, which is up here. I don't know how to pronounce that. So click appearance. International kind of looks like international and where it says Portuguese you got to change that to English English US there we go everything is in English now you probably want to set your time so uh, region, choose your region, I'm in Canada, keyboard layout, English QWERTY, time zone country, Canada again, 
Time Zone. America Edmonton. And here's all your other localization settings, but you don't need to worry about them. So you can exit out of this now. See, time's right. Uh, this is this is a uh, Cody 16. Uh, it's new. Uh, it's much better than the Raspbian one because Raspbian only has 15.2. Uh, this is faster. Uh, the operating system is much cleaner than Raspbian, even though technically it's built on Raspbian, they made it their own. It's still cleaner and way more smooth. And you can, it has all, most of your extra add-ons in Raspbian are already installed. Uh, you got, you got um, your web browser, which I believe is Chromium. Or they do have Chromium on this. I'm not sure if that's Chromium. But it's pretty good anyways. If you want to make sure that it's Chromium, you can go into the application menu, internet, and there's Chromium. That was not Chromium. This is Chromium. Which is basically Chrome. Might have to do some extra installation. Oh, nope, we're good. There you have it. Google Chrome. And that about concludes this. Um, this is Pippleware, which is based on Raspbian. It's way better. Uh, you got everything in it. You have terminal down at the bottom, file manager, web browser, your download manager, application finder, you can search for things, your home directory, and it also has extra screens for what you're working on. Uh, I will make another video on how to install the Beast, which is a build for Cody. Thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, hit the like button, uh, subscribe. Thank you.